Everybody, welcome back to Robert's English Classroom. I am Robert, and today we have a grammar lesson, English grammar lesson. Yay! We all love English grammar, don't we? But today's grammar is quite easy, actually, and it's a grammar that we often use in English conversation. So it's very important for you to know it. It is used to and used to be, okay? And it's very strange words here. They look like one meaning, but it's a completely different meaning. Uh, English is like that, right? Now, used to, used to be mean we used to do something before, but now we don't do it. Or we used to have a personality before, but our personality has changed to a different personality. Okay? Hmm. So, used to and used to be, I'll explain more. Let's get started. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go to used to first. All right? Used to and the base verb. Now, how do we, what's the grammar here? The grammar is after used to, we put the base verb. And a base verb is the verb in its simple form, no s no ed no ing okay like eat or sleep or drink okay used to eat used to drink i'll show you in a moment but what's important here is the pronunciation of this now take a look it looks like used to used to but listen to how i say it used to used to used to the D is pretty much not there. There's no sound of the D. Used to. Maybe the D a little bit turns into a T, used to. But when I say it, it sounds like no D. Used to. That's because in conversation, we say it quickly. So I used to do something. All right. So be careful when how you say this. All right. Now, what, how do we use this? Let's, let me give you some examples like I always do. All right. Let's look at the first one here stay at home all day okay stay is a base verb i used to stay at home all day that's before but now i go out and exercise okay so maybe before i'm a couch potato i stay home all day i don't like to go outside but i've changed now i like to exercise and be outside so we can use used to how about the next one? Eat only meat. Hmm. I used to eat only meat. Very strange. But now I eat only fruit. Okay. All right. Before I ate meat, only meat. But then I changed and now only fruit. I used to eat meat. Now I only eat fruit. Next one, worry. I used to worry about things too much. Nervous, anxiety. But now, ah, I think more positively. All right? I used to think too much. Now I think more positively. And the last one, drink. I used to drink lots of soda. Maybe it's not very healthy for you, right? I used to drink lots of soda, but now I drink more fruit juice instead. Probably a healthier choice for you. Before, I was drinking a lot of soda. Now... I'm drinking more fruit juice. Okay. On we go. Ah, always remember this, right? Got to remember, remind you, please subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell. Give me a uh, thumbs up or a comment. That's always um, something I like. Okay, let's keep going. Helps the channel. All right. So now let's change to used to be. Now, with used to, we did a verb, but now used to be is an adjective, all right? Because the be has become the verb. Listen to how I say it, used to be, used to be, right? The D is not there, used to be. So let's take, let's look at these examples here. Friendly and outgoing, those are my adjectives, okay? I used to be friendly and outgoing. But now I am shy and reserved, like the picture. 
Okay. Before I'm friendly, outgoing, hey, like to party. Now I'm like quiet, I don't know, stay at home, homebody, shy and reserved. Okay. Used to be. Very simple. Just put the adjective after. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay. I used to be laid back and relaxed. Ah, cool, right? But now I'm outdoorsy and wild. Okay. Take a look at the picture. Maybe the woman before, she's Laid back at home, relax. Yeah, everything's cool. Yeah, don't worry. Don't get excited. But something changed. And now she's like rock climbing and doing crazy things outside. Loves the outdoors, right? I used to be laid back and relaxed. But now I'm outdoorsy and wild. Okay, used to be. Okay, so let's pop on. All right, so let's review here. Used to. We put a verb after it, used to, base verb, okay, and used to be with an adjective, right, okay, so used to plus a base verb and used to be an adjective, and what does it mean? It means we, use, we did something before and we don't do it now, or we were had a certain personality before, but we don't necessarily do it now. Okay, everybody got that? All right, so let me hop to our next um, slide here. All right, so up. So. All right, here are some examples. All right, I have two examples here. So first one is the woman, Julia. Okay, Julia used to be laid back and relaxed. She used to read books and watch movies alone. But now she is different. She's changed. She has become outgoing and friendly and has many friends. So take a look at the picture, right? She used to read books, watch movies alone, laid back, relaxed. But she's different now. Now she's a social butterfly, outgoing and friendly. Let's try another one. Jason. Jason used to be outdoorsy and wild. He used to hike dangerous mountains and camp outside a lot, but now he has changed. He has become laid back and more relaxed. He enjoys staying at home and chatting with his friends. So here's Jason before. He's outdoorsy. He's wild. He's doing dangerous things. Used to hike mountains and camp outside a lot. Sounds fun, actually. I love that. But now he's changed. Staying home, laid back, relaxed, hangs out with his friends. That's cool for him now, All right? Okay, that's it. So I'll give you a little quiz. I always say you need to practice. So you can stop the video here and you can take a look at these questions and try to answer them. And if you have a question, write it in the comment box and I'll, I'll write back to you. So what did you used to do before but you don't do now? What did you used to like before, but not now? What did you used to eat before, but not now? You know, before we like certain foods, but maybe now we don't like that food. And what music did you used to listen to before, but you don't now? And that's happened with me before. I like certain bands and music, but, um, you know, now I don't necessarily like them, right? Because things change. We get older, our tastes change, what we like changes. Uh, what we do also changes, okay? Uh, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Used to, used to be. We use them a lot in English conversation. Always come back for uh, another lesson, learn some more English, and keep on studying. And I'll see you in the next class. Bye-bye. <laughs>